Uh, when you accidentally click the button to go live. <laughs> Hi everybody, how's it going? I hope you can hear me. I'm just testing this for one second, just to make sure that this works. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I didn't mean to go live there. Okay, can you hear me? Okay, you can hear me. That's great news. All right, how's it going everybody? It is Monday and what have we got today? Today we have full body conditioning and all we need today is your mat, your water, or waters for your um, alternatives for dumbbells as well as if you have um, dumbbells and that's fantastic. All right, so thank you for joining me today. My name is Sonia Daisy from Success Fitness, and thank you to Warren Woods University Recreation Center for endorsing these classes. So let's get this started, I think. I hear you. All right, everybody's hearing me, yay! Okay, this is my 90s headset, and I got this headset in 1998, I believe, and it still works, apparently. So isn't that fantastic? Okay, so we're going to start with the warm up. I'm super excited about you. All right, we're going to alternate pulling your knees up. We're going to go right left. Let's just take it nice and easy into it. And let's just wake up the body. I mean, it is 12 o'clock. We should have been awake for a while, but who knows? Who knows what you're doing? You could be a shift worker, right? All right, keep going. Two more. Let's go one more. We're gonna all we're gonna hug the knee in. We're gonna take that same leg into a reverse lunge, the same side arm, diagonal reach, taking it back up and over to the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna make your brain work a little bit. Over to the other side, hold it, reaching it to the other side, release back to the center. Let's do it again. Knee hug, reverse, diagonal, take it back to the center, other leg, knee hug. Reverse, diagonal, taking it back to the center. Good. And again, knee hug, reverse, right? So we're going to take it nice and easy into it. Try not to go too fast. And this is just a little bit of balance, right? We're going to incorporate today and release. Let's do two more. Knee in, taking it back, diagonal reach, back to the center. One more time. Knee in, reverse lunge, reaching it and release. Let's hold it right here. Let's give you a nice light little jog. So let's keep your feet to start off with, low to the ground, okay? So we're not gonna go crazy yet, nice and controlled. Hoo hoo. Everybody had a good weekend? I did. I had uh, a good day off yesterday. It was nice. It was perfect weather out, but we did get a walk in, right? So we gotta get fresh air. We've got to get some oxygen in, right? Keep going. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's hold it right here. We're going to take your right leg up again, but this time we're going to step it forward, digging the heel in, hinge forward, and release. One more time. Knee up, digging the heel in. Hinge forward and release. Now we're going to take the leg behind. Quad stretch. Take that foot forward and release. Let's stay with the same side. Balance. Quad stretch. Take the heel in. Hinge from the hip and back up. Three more times to the side. Hinge. Up. And pulling it back. Two more. Hinge. And up. Last one. Quad. Hinge, and release. Other side, okay? So, quad stretch, heel dig, hinge from the hip. Try not to round your spine, and back up. Quad stretch, heel dig, hinge from the hip, and back up. If you need a little bit more balance help, just hang it onto the wall, dig the heel in, hinging from the hip, and back up. Great, two more times. Grabbing it, heel dig, Hinge from the hip and back up. Great. So just a little bit of range of motion, movement, and back up. Let's hold it right here. We're going to go back into a nice little jog, but this time I want you to start picking it up a little bit. So heels to the glutes, low impact. You can stay right here, okay? So just taking the heels towards those hip, uh, the glutes, right? Or picking it up into a little bit more of a vigorous jog. 
All right, heels, heels, two glutes. Yes, if you're not quite sure, you can always put your hands there and see if you can kick those hands if you want to work a little bit harder. So again, it depends on your knee health, on what level of intensity you're going to take this. Keep going, pressing it up. Nice deep breathing. 15 more seconds. Keep going. Good job. Five, four, three, two, and one. Legs go out into a plie. So toes are out. We don't want your knees to go past your toes. Hands go down to the knees. Shift your weight to one side. Shifting it way to the other side. Back to the center. Pop it up. Plie. Down, down, pop. Plie. Shift, shift, pop. Yes, you're with me? Plie. So when we're doing that plie, we're going to get your toes a little bit more out to the sides. Okay? So it's not just the squat center. And again, plie. Shift, center. And again, plie. Shift, center. And again, plie, shift the shoulders, and center. Plie, let's do a few more. Center. And center. Good, shake it out. Back to your jog, but this time, I want your knees a little bit more forward. So drawing the knees up, no impact, you're right here. Right? You don't have to do a big jog. Again, the whole idea about doing a warm-up is to get the body prepped and prepared, right? I mean, it's pretty evident when we say warm-up. Having that said, jog it out, right? Or take it low impact, is that we want to get the synovial fluids in your body going, lubricating your joints, getting that heart rate slightly up, and getting prepped and ready. So sometimes if you're a runner, you know how those first five to 10 minutes are always the hardest? This is what we're doing in the beginning, okay? Knees up, let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, shake it out. We're going to take those feet a little bit wider, so with the width of the mat, we're going to come all the way down into a plank position. Okay, hold it right here. We're going to do a reverse inch work. So we're going to walk your feet in towards your hand. And then walk in the back. Yes. And again, walking it in. Hold the width of the mat. And walking it back. We got this, right? Walking it in. Good work. Walking it back. And again, walking it in. And walking it back. Good job. Pop up. Good. Hold it. Stretch. And walking it back. Walking it in. Walking it back. And again. Walking it in. And walking it back. Awesome work. Last one. Walking it in. Good. And walking it back. Awesome. Drop to the knees into a child's pose. Give yourself a little stretch right across those lats. Nice exhale into it. And back up. All right. Let's grab some water. We should feel just a little bit warmer, right? We shouldn't be exhausted. It's full body conditioning. Um, everything is a little bit cardio based, right? But it shouldn't be fatiguing you in that um, in the cardio way at this point. All right, we're gonna grab your dumbbell or a water bottle. So whatever you're handy. Your feet are not gonna go super wide here. You wanna keep your feet right underneath your knees and hips. We're gonna do a little wood chop. So you're gonna go down to the opposite knee. When we come up, we're gonna rotate and notice how I take this leg with me, okay? So it's really important you lift that heel on the way up. Ready, set, and go. Down, power it up. Down, so it's like you're swinging the dumbbell up. It feels really good, but this can go really badly sideways if we're not consciously using our core muscles, right, to stop that rotation from happening. So really stretch those arms, straight up and release. Straight up and release. Good, exhale out and release. Powering it up and release. 
We're going to do 45 seconds on one side. And then 45 seconds on the other side. 10 more seconds. Power it up. We're not going to take a break in between. Four, three, two, other side. Ready? Down, power it up. Down, power it up. Come on, reaching it up. Make yourself nice and tall. Don't over, over reach or over twist. We do want to reach here. We want to feel your whole body being part of this, but not over extending that lower back, right? So really trying to pull the belly button in and push. Good work. Exhale out and press. 15 seconds, you got this. And down. Pressing it up and down. And I said in the warm up, I'm going to try to work your brain a little bit today. So we're going to have multi use type exercises. Four, three, two, and done. And just remember, all of these things can be done without weights, right? So you don't have to always have a weight. All right, we're going to do one arm overhead press into a burpee into a row, okay? So complicated, eh, maybe the first round, but then you're going to be fine. So we're going to start this nice and slow, okay? Burpee, hold the plank, row, hop it back, overhead press, yes? So we're not doing this fast. Overhead press, right? So this one we do want to take a little bit more control and press. When we're doing that row, I don't want you twisting too much, right? So it's going to be a little bit of a lean into the other arm. But please don't twist too far over. And the way you avoid that is by stepping your feet a little bit wider. If that's too hard, come here to the knees, row, and back up. We've got 10 more seconds. Drop, pull, and back up. Five more seconds. Yes. And back up. Good work. Let's hold it right here. Let's switch hands. <laughs> Two minutes of burpees. You're new, okay? In five, four, three, two. Are you ready? Let's do it. Overhead press. Burpee. One row. Yes. And back up. Oh, yeah. We love this. Huh? So once we get bored, we get into it, right? And again. And back. Good work. Make sure on the plank, we keep your back nice and flat. And press. 30 more seconds. We got this. And back. Good work. And again, down we go. Rolling it up. And back. Awesome work. 15 seconds. And back up. Good work. Down we go. And roll. And back up. And time. How'd you do? Not so easy, right? Shaking out those legs. Shaking out those arms. We're going to go to the end of your mat. We're going to do some quick jogs to one end of your mat. Then we're going to stop, squat it down. I'm going to take it back to the other end of the mat. So about eight counts across, four counts coming back. If you have a little bit more room in your living room, I want you to take that a little bit longer. So I'm going to actually go behind my mat. Okay? Ready, set, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold. Down. One, two, three, and four. Let's go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down we go. Step it back. How low can you go on your squat? Right? So I want you to go nice and low. And again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down we go. Squat. Squat. Stay in that squat. Low impact. Squatting it down, right? So you don't have to jog it really high with those knees. Squat it down. Yes. Take it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Squat. Take it across. Take it across. Take it across. One more. 
Take it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Squat. Four, three, two, and one. Yes. Let's hold it right here. Let's walk it to the other side. We're going to jog it and squat it the other way. In five, four, three, two. Let's go. High knees. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Three. Take it down. Four, three, two. All right? So we're speeding it up a little bit. Down. Four, three, two. And take it back. Knees up. How are we feeling? And press. So if you have a 
lower back like mine, where sometimes it fatigues fairly quickly. But we just we want to work on these things, but we gotta find the right level for us to make this happen. Right? Always look at your form and technique. Don't force something that can harm the body. And power. Come on. Oh, I'm hot. Come on. Power it up. Oh, push it. Ten more seconds. Oh, got this. Four, three, two, and one. I didn't cheat on that one. Okay. We're going to go right into high knees. Take it across the mat. Into the squats. Coming back. I'll start on this end. High knees. In four, three, two, and go. Squatting it, walk it back. Yes, and again. Squatting it, squat, nice and low. Squat down, four, three, two, take it back. Hup, 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 hup. And squat, walk it back, four, Three, two, and you have a lot of room in your, wherever you're doing this. Um, you can take these squats way bigger, right? If you want to. I'm gonna disappear. And high knees. Woo! Yes. Down we go, 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna jog the opposite direction. Last one. And high knees back. All right, hold it right here. All right, high knees go in the opposite direction. In five, four, three, two, let's go. And squat, take it back for four, three, two, high knees back, come on. Squat it down, walk it back, and back, and back, and back, low impact. Right? I don't have to jog it out. And step, and step. Right, find your level, and maybe get a little bit creative. Keep it very low, right? Like a nice, nice low impact jog. Four, one more. Good, high knees, we're almost there. And again, squat, step it out. Step it out, step it out one more time. Yes, knees up, last set. Squat, four, three, two, and one. Now, when you repeat this workout on another day, you can also use a dumbbell in your hands if you really want to step it up another level, all right? Okay, let's grab some water. We're going to change the exercises. We're going to do different exercises on the mat. So let's grab both of your dumbbells. And you're going to have to lay on your back in a bridge position. So lift those hips, arms go straight up. We're going to do a dumbbell fly into a tricep extension, okay? So the key is that our hips are not down here, they are here. Unless you have a little back issue, then maybe let's drop it a little bit, right? Don't force that. Ready? In four, three, two, and go. Fly, stay across the chest and skull crushers. And we don't want to make those skull crushers, okay? So be careful and push. If you want to make this harder, so let's say you have water bottles that are not super heavy, you can also do that tricep a little bit away from this angle, angling a little bit away from you, and then coming up, okay? So again, depending on your resistance, and also being creative with that resistance, meaning maybe at this point you have filled up those water bottles with some, um, with some rocks, with some sand, making them a little bit heavier, okay? Um, if you still have water in them, like one of my clients, she had a little shower while she was doing exercises and started leaking. <laughs> Might feel good though, right? Okay, keep going. We got 10 more seconds. Keep this going, we're almost there. Oh yes, and done, good work. We're gonna come over to one side. 
we're going to go into a side plank with a rotator. Now, when we're working with rotators, which are your shoulder joint, we might want to take it down to the water bottle, okay? So, bottom leg bent, top leg straight. Plank position. Elbow tucked in, all I want you to do is opening it up and closing it down. Opening it up and closing it down. If that's too light, then grab your lighter dumbbell. All right, ready, set, and go. Open and close. Now, when we're opening it up like this, I don't want you to lift that elbow away from your rib cage. So try to keep your elbow and your shoulder aligned with each other. Okay, so what I don't want to see is this. Okay, so your yeah, elbow stays in. You should fatigue fairly quickly that when you originally chose to put the water bottle down, you might find you have to pick it back up, right? Opposite shoulder is working super hard as well, right? Because it's supporting you. Keep going for four, two, one more, and release. Perfect. Let's take it over to the other side. So our rotators can sometimes get kind of angry, and especially um, if you have a line of work where you're doing a lot of lifting um, or a lot of repetitive work, ready, and go. So if you ever had a pissed off rotator cuff, you know about it. So these are kind of good exercises to maybe add, but just be very cautious and conscious of your technique on this one, okay? So this is probably, if you do have a rotator, type thing going on and you're unsure what this, you don't just start doing exercises that you think might work, you want to get um, help. So a physiotherapist would help um, to maybe assess and then figuring out what route you could possibly go, okay? Keep going, come on, almost there, four more. Good, three more, awesome, last two, one more. Ah, good work. We're going to come back to a standing position. We're going to have your feet wide, and we're going to hop them narrow. We're going to alternate that for one minute, keeping the cardio going. In four, three, two, ready? In and out. In and out. Low impact. In and out. In and out. Sit into it, right? In and out. Come on, don't stop. Now, notice again, I don't go super fast here, right? Because what we want is really engaging those muscles in your glutes and those muscles in your quad, right? In and out. Now, if you want to make this harder, you can have the dumbbell or the water bottle in front of you. But having that said, if your knees stay bent this whole time, you're working hard. Right? And push. Go. And press. And press. We're so close. Five, four, three, two, and hold. Woo! On fire. Back down to the bridge position. Lying on your back. Hips lift up. Back to the fly with the tricep extension. Keep those hips nicely lifted. Ready, set, and go. Fly, and triceps. Exhale. Fly, and triceps. Now make sure that you don't grip those dumbbells super crazy hard, right? Focusing on those muscles that we're trying to work here. Chest, tricep. If we grip those hands super hard, you're gonna be working on one of those forearms. Not saying that that's a bad thing, it's just that's not what we're focusing on with this particular exercise. But we don't want to have it so loose that we're losing the dumbbells, right? Out we go. Come on, 20 more seconds. Keep that going. Keep your bum lifted and press. Down we go. And press. Down we go. Good work. Don't let those elbows flare out. And press. We're almost there. Give me one more of each. Out we go. One more tricep, because we love triceps. And release. Side plank. Over we go. Grab your dumbbell or your water bottle. Planking it up to the side. Lifting that hip right up. Ready? 
set, elbow tucked in, right? And lift. There we go. Keeping the hip lifted the whole time. Come on, working those rotators. Exhale out. Let's go. And again, we're not dropping that arm, right? So the elbow stays put here, just rotating it from the shoulder. And again, if you have rotator type um, things and you're starting to work on it, no resistance. Might be plenty for you because you're starting to work on that range again, okay? So if you can't come to maybe shoulder level with that hand, maybe it's not time yet to add a five, 10 pound dumbbell or a water ball yet, right? So we need to um, increase resistance on any sort of um, area and release that's weak or injured slowly, right? Introducing movement first, then increase the resistance. All right, onto the other side, lifting your hip, elbow tuck. Um, when you repeat this workout, please go ahead, put it on pause after the second set, and then add the third set to it if you have a full hour available to you, right? Um, if you don't have a full 45 minutes, maybe you only have 30 minutes today, that's okay too. So you could do just a set of three exercises, do your warm-up, do the set of three exercises, and then call it a day. But don't forget to stretch. Keep going. 15 seconds. Oh, yes. Come on, five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Great work. Let's stand back up. If you want to use a resistance at your chest, you can hold that dumbbell. We're going to squat wide and narrow. Let's sink down into it just a tiny bit. Ready? And go wide and narrow, wide and narrow, right? So each time we're squatting, yes? And narrow, wide and narrow. You got this, wide and narrow, right? And if that weight is getting too much, just take it to the side, take it out and make it a goal. Goals are good, right? Down and in, come on, out. And then, no impact, you're out, you're in, but make sure you switch legs as you're doing this. Out, and in, good. Out, and in, 15 more seconds. And in, out, and in, out, and in. Definitely a lot harder with having that dumbbell in your hands, just saying, and release, Whew. good work, all right, shake those legs out, grab some water, you're doing fantastic, we're not quite done yet though, all right, we got a great week planned, right, tomorrow we got some core cardio type things, conditioning, um, Wednesday some yoga Pilates, you ready? We're going to step over the biggest hurdle in between, okay? So what I want you to do is take one leg, step it over, you got to take this one over too, yes, and then take it back, step and step, right? So step over that, make it about knee high, and you have to uh, step it over. Let's do it again. Step it over. If you can't, you're just stepping from here. Okay? So how big is your hurdle? Try to make that hurdle nice and big. Over and over. Let's pick it up. Come on. Speed it up a little bit and push. Over and over. Over and over. Over and over. See that balance? The bigger you make this, the more balance we have to work on. And again, so I'm gonna go down my stairs, not a lot of them, but you know. And over, good. Over and over, keep going. Over and over, how big is your hurdle? Ah, uh, one more. Ah, okay, shake it out. We're gonna stand on one leg. Now, if you can't stand on one leg for 30 seconds, you're gonna have to start working on your balance, okay? Very important. 
We're gonna do a one-legged little hop. Yes? If that's too hard, we're gonna do a both-legged hop. If that's still too hard, I just want you to raise your heels up and down. Ready? And go. 15 seconds. Come on. Keep going. I got a squeaky floor right here. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. For five. Four. Three. Don't stop. Switch legs. Yeah? Whew. Feel that burn. Come on. Keep it going. We're going to do this side a little bit longer because we, you know, practice on this one as first. First. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You're not done yet. Keep pushing it for five, four, three, two, and really shake it out. We're going to have our, and really shake it out. We're going to have our, let's plank it down. Make sure you have nothing in the way. We're going to hop it into a pike. So when you're piking it up, I want you to be on your tippy toes and then hop it back into your plank. Low impact, and taking it back, okay? One minute in four, three, two, and go. In and down, in and down. Try to come on your toes. Pike, and down. Pike, and down. Pike, and down. Pike. Step, and step back. Step, and step back. Step, and step back. Do what you can. Step, stepping it back. And again, up, and down. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Good, shake it out. We're not done, one more round. Let's come on up. Hurdle, big hurdle, make it a big one. In five, four, three, two, hurdle it up. And back, and back. What's your core doing here, right? Your core should be nice and snug, and it's helping you lift that leg over the hurdle. Uh, pretend hurdle. Come on. One day you're going to need this and you're going to be like, wait a minute, this is functional. This totally came in handy. I'm glad I did this class and I learned how to step over hurdles sideways. Right? Come on, 30 seconds. Whew. Yes. How are we feeling? You're doing good, right? Nice range of motion today. Lots of mobility stuff. And again, the whole point of some of these classes is full body, um, including everything. Ten seconds. Right? Keep going. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and time. Oh, those hips. You can feel those, right? One legged hop. Or both legged, or just raising both heels up and down. Ready? Set? And go. Let's try 30 seconds this time. Now, if you want to get creative, yeah, this is even harder. Right? Hopping it out, hopping it forward and back. It's up to you. 15 seconds in. Oh, feel the burn. I feel the burn. Go on. Push it. Push it. Oh, keep going. Five, four, three. Two, switch. Come on, come on. Side to side, yeah. You're skiing with one ski today, huh? I can't believe I'm skiing this year. Unbelievable. <laughs> Next year, right? Keep going, keep going, come on. Push it 10 more seconds. Uh, who knew this was gonna be so hard? Five, four. Three, two, and shake it out. You feeling the burn? All right, plank pike. Plank, plank pike. All right, in five, four, three, two, hop it. Do the toes. Hop it back. Do the toes. Hop it back. Do the toes. Hop it back. Step. Step it back. Step. Step it back, yeah? Give me those. Woo! Give me those. 
So if I go, I just feel like I'm having way more fun with this. And push. Come on. Ten more seconds. And what I mean with this means this exercise. I'm always having fun. And time. Oh my goodness. Let's hold it right here. Let's sit back on those heels, separating those knees. Let's give a nice little stretch to the hips, to those lats, arms fully extended. Good work. Let's walk your hands over to one side, creating a little bit more of a nice little C shape. So that top hand is the one that's reaching away. The other one is just supporting you. Get that nice stretch to the lats. And let's take it over to the other side. Hold it right here. Good work. Let's take it back to the center. Nice stretch to those lats, arms extended. We're gonna come up on all fours. Knees come a little bit closer together. Let's go all the way forward, lowering those hips down, opening through the chest. Let's look over your shoulder. Nice work, be gentle. If that's too harsh, you can drop to the elbows. And back. We're gonna lay over to one side. Grab your ankle. Stretching, very, very important, right? We always want to stretch um, after we've done a good vigorous workout. But truly, stretching should be done daily, right? And the more you work out, the tighter the muscles get, and the tighter the muscles get, the unfortunately, um, the weaker they get, right? So the problem with and switch to the other side. The problem with um, it's, it, it's good to exercise, but the problem with exercising is that our bodies get tight, and then with that tightness becomes weakness, becomes injuries. So it's this little cycle that we have to continue doing when we're active is to. Be active, work on endurance, work on strength, work on hypertrophy, which is the building of the muscle. Um, building your flexibility and your stretching, so there's, it's two different categories. Work on your range of motion, work on your balance. Um, so really diligently trying to plan your workouts with having all those components in your workout. So one foot goes to the inside of your inner thigh, flex that foot. Leaning forward into it, so I'm going to stretch that hip out a little bit, a little bit in that lower back. But also by flexing this foot, we want to get the back of that leg and hamstring. Nice little stretch into it, breathing into it. So stretching is probably about 15 minutes per muscle group, or maybe 30 seconds. When you're wanting to work on flexibility, we're looking at one to three minutes, okay? And release. So we need to spend more time on it. And on Wednesdays, I do a nice little combination of core and stretching. Um, on Saturdays, same thing. So trying to break it up a little bit so that you have a combination of different um, categories. And if you have some heavier weights that you can start implementing, maybe try it out, right? So instead of using your five or eight pounds, maybe you have a 10 pound that you kind of go, oh, maybe I'm ready for that, right? So give it a go. And release. And again, implementing slowly. Slowly coming up. Good, come up too quickly. We're gonna do that, what we did in the beginning. Digging the heel in, hinging from the hip. Next, those toes in. Get a little stretch in the hamstring. We don't wanna be rounding into it. Lead with your chest. Good job. And release. Let's switch it to the other side. Flexing the toes up, leaning into it. All right, so now we're getting a little more into the calf as well. And slowly come back up. Give yourself a nice deep breath, reaching it nice and tall. Exhaling it out. Rolling those shoulders out. And again, if you have a lot more time today, it's not a bad idea to um, implement more stretching on the end of these classes. But uh, you've done a fantastic job. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Sonia Badesi from Success Fitness. And I will be seeing you tomorrow, right? Be good. Be healthy. Stay safe.